Welcome to Inside UNA Basketball. Here are your hosts, Coach Bobby Champagne and J.D. Byers. And another edition of Inside UNA Basketball. Welcome in, everybody. You're going to get to, uh, to see some Lion basketball action in just a moment. The Lions trying to get in here and get win number 11. We're going to host Union. You'll see the highlights in a moment. I'm J.D. Byers alongside head coach Bobby Champagne. Coach, we come back from a split. We lost at Christian Brothers, but got a great win at Delta State. DeAndre Hersey with 26 points. Yeah, it was a great uh, road road win at Delta State, and uh, we had the unions, our travel partner, so we were coming coming into the game uh, with with a long stretch. We didn't play a Thursday game and had the Saturday Saturday afternoon against Union, and Union's been playing very good, so we really needed to get back on the on the winning streak. At Delta State, DeAndre Hersey, our leading scorer, our leading rebounder. Needed him to come in and have a great game. We're going to be playing, though, without Bruce Adams. Yeah, Bruce had a concussion, uh, got hit at the Delta game and uh, just taking some precautions. And he was having some problems with lights and headaches. And so we uh, we were playing without our second leading rebounder, or leading rebounder, and uh, one of the best free throw shooters in the conference. So U Union's tough at their place. We get them at our place, though, first. That's key because they're a three-point shooting team. We force them to take 32, but we defend it well. We did defend the uh, three-point shot well, and we knew going into it that we were going to have to do a good job of contesting those shots. Playing without Bruce Adams, let's talk about who fills in. Wes Long has been a guy that comes off the bench first, and uh, probably on any other team in the league, he's a starter. He's a great three-point shooter. He takes charges. He dives after loose basketballs, and he fills in well. Yeah, he does. Um, it's really unfortunate because he, he's much better coming off the bench and, and giving a spark to the offense, knocking down some threes, but uh, plays a role well and, and just kind of fills in whatever you need. He's a guard that plays on, in the post sometimes, uh, just does what, what the team needs to help us win. Maybe one of his biggest roles, he's a captain. Yeah, he and KJ do a good job of leading the team, so uh, you always need that. We're going to take our first break here on Inside UNA Basketball. Coming up on the program, our player of the game, and we'll also have uh, first half and second half highlights in the win over Union University. First this time out on Inside UNA Basketball. Right now at Ray Miller Buick GMC, 2012 Acadia, 0% for 72 months. 2012 Yukon SLT, 0% for 72 months or save $6,500. Get 0% for 60 months on select Sierra extended cabs. 2012 Buick LaCrosse, 0% for 60 months or save $6,000. Need a low payment? Verano, only $1.99 a month. See salesperson for details. 48 years of satisfied customers. Ray Miller Buick GMC, Cox Creek Parkway, Florence. Daddy, can I get a puppy, please? Okay, Sammy. It's bedtime. Oh, ten more minutes, please. Ten more. Yes. Please. Hey, Daddy. Will you buy us some alcohol for my party tonight? We'll be right here at the house. You can even take the keys. Please? Absolutely not. Each time I turn around. Never let me have anything. Don't be a pushover. I hate you. Be a parent. Prevent. Don't provide alcohol to minors. Inside UNA basketball, everybody. You're about to see some highlights from the win that got North Alabama to 11 and 2 on the year. We've got the home floor advantage after two on the road, hosting Union University. The Bulldogs coming in. They take 75 shots, coach, to our 63, but we play some great defense. We played really good defense. We uh, contested the shots well. We forced some turnovers. Uh, we, second half, we gave up some second shots, but the first half, we did a great job of contesting and limiting them to one shot. Hold them to 15.6% behind the arc. They take a well of a lot of three-pointers, 32, I believe, and make only five. Yeah, we knew going into the game they were going to take a lot of threes. They spread the offense out, and we needed to uh, contest those shots. And most importantly, when we contested them, be sure we blocked out and didn't give them a second opportunity. In the first half, we really did a good job with that, and that's why we had a 10-point lead going into the second half. Watch DeAndre Hersey. He's going to have some great ones in this one. Has 18 points. De, uh, DeAndre Hersey also had eight rebounds in it. Great crowd, too, shows up with over 1,500. Oh, really good crowd for a Saturday afternoon. And, um, you know, we had 10 guys play in that game, played a number of minutes, and nine of them scored. So it was a, a good team win. The Bulldogs are at Flowers Hall. Let's look at first half highlights for North Alabama and Union University. For Union, here's a jumper by Marti. Check that, that's Anthony Freeman, the other 6'8 senior, and the opening points go to Union. Just outside the free throw line, they lead 2-0. Outside Markwell Darrington, three-pointer, strokes it in. How about Markwell? 
He likes Flowers Hall and he likes that left wing. And the Lions are up by a point. They roll off a double team inside. Here's Freeman. His shot up and blocked by Claiborne. Recollected by Bullock. 13 on the shot clock. They work it over to A.J. Roberts and he gets a two-pointer. And they go back up by a point in transition. Three-pointer good. West Long off the right wing. Mark Wells got one off the left wing. UNA up by two. Six to four off a pair of trays. Tied at six. About four minutes into the game, 6.07 remaining first half. DeAndre Hersey, top of the key, guarded out there by Martin. Now Keenan, between the legs on the dribble, over to Yeti. He'll take a long range shot, drain, another three. Nine points for North Alabama, all off threes, and three different lines have hit the trays. Left hand dribble, Bullock, swinging it up. Paul Valder has come into the lineup, and there's a turnover. Rashawn Claiborne off the tip. They try to feed it into the paint on an arc. Over to West, cross-court pass. Nathan wide open, won't take it from the corner. Nathan on a teardrop, well, rolls it in for two. Faller, a contested tray, NBA range, no good. West Long boxes out, keeps the big guy Valder out of the paint. In transition, here's Vichitsi. Behind the back, oh. reverse, count it, and one! Yeti on an NBA range, circus-style shot. Yeti's got five behind a screen, the pass underneath, well. They lost Anthony Freeman, and he got the easy bank shot to tie it at 15. UNA seven-point lead is gone. 8-17 now to go before the half as Roy Bullock, the senior point guard, freshman point guard for Union, checks in. He comes to the table. Here's Rashawn Claiborne, truck stop, fadeaway chopper. 13-footer is good. There's a handoff, penetration move. Runner no good. Corian, though, got his own rebound. Pearson off the screen, right side, Fowler. Can't get it, and another rebound, that's the fourth for Rashawn Claiborne. UNA in transition after the miss. Over to Pritchard. Will he take the three? They're playing him soft. A.J. Roberts about six feet off of it. Pritchard from the far wing. Looks down to the corner. Claiborne down to Hersey. Hersey backing in from the block left side. Goes towards the bucket. He'll lay it in right over the top of Freeman, who has a two-inch height advantage on Hersey. Cross-court pass, far corner. Pedro Fowler puts up a three. Rims out again, no good. They are 1 of 14 from downtown, and they've had some looks at it. UNA gets the rebound. We turn them away with a five-point lead. We are rushing them off the three-point line. That's exactly what we need to be doing, too. Union only 13 turnovers a game. UNA averaging only 14, but right now we've coughed it up four times more than they have. Mark Quayle on a great move inside. Euro step, drags the foot, lays it in, and the Lions up seven. Third time we led by as many. Nina Jackson now defensively out on Bullock. Shot clock is on. Here's a turnover. No, they collect it back. Bullock pulls up. 17-footer from the floor. Overshot it. No good. And we get the stop. Shot clock is off. Down court. Waiting is Claiborne. Claiborne puts it up off the reverse. Wisely effect, uh, elects not to take the jam. and puts it in. They put us up by double digits. Has it knocked away. Double team. Saves it. Over to the left wing. They put up a three at the buzzer. No good at the half. We're up by 10. What a first half. These Lions have played solid. We had a lot of turnovers. 10 to their five. When you support Lil Steve's convenience stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, our community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Lil Steve's, you're saying we believe in America. Seven locations in Florence. Pine Street, Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway and Chisholm Road. Cloverdale Road, Petersville, Woodward Avenue, Muscle Shoals, and Highway 72 in Killen. Lil Steve's. Believe in America. Football and food go together. Montague's menu offers a variety of game day edibles like the cheese steak, specialty burgers, the specialty Reuben, and even Polish dogs. For the health conscious, there's a salad menu too. Montague's, corner of Pine and Chisholm in Florence. Frostbite Frozen Treats, just blocks from the stadium, offers a unique experience. Next to Montague's, at the corner of Pine and Chisholm, it's customizable frozen yogurt. When the cup is full, the toppings are close by. And then it's just a matter of weighing and paying. Frostbite, next to Montague's and on Facebook. Inside UNA basketball, everybody. J.D. Byers with head coach Bobby Champagne. We're in the locker room, about to come back out, up by 10 here. Uh, you think that's a great lead? We're really about to add to it. Get three three-pointers in the first five minutes of the second half, so you had to tell them something about the offense. We were playing some great defense, and we shoot like 56% in the second 20 minutes. Yeah, the, the big thing with Union is everybody they played, and they played a tough schedule. They've gone on the road and played some uh, Kentucky Wesleyan and different teams that are very good. 
every one of their games have been close. And so the concern was letting them hang around, hang around. And we knew those first five minutes we really needed to get into them defensively coming out of the locker room and uh, execute our offense to get some good shots. And, and the guys did a, a great job of, of doing that. In the first half, we get inside. We score in the paint. That starts to open up things early as we start the second half. We start to hit some perimeter shots. Two three-pointers out of West Long, and Nathan Spear adds one as well. Yeah, Nathan's been shooting the ball extremely well. Uh, been practicing very well, and, and the, the carryover to the game really hadn't uh, come. But uh, as the season's progressing, just like his freshman year, I expect him to continue to play better and better. We have so many three-point threats. If it sounds like I'm harping on it, here's why. We have over 1,500 people show up for this game, and they start to get in a rhythm because they get excited when that three ball goes up. And when somebody spots up, everybody, you know, they start to gasp or they stand up at Flowers Hall. Yeah, you could feel the excitement in Flowers Hall that day. It was, it was uh, a little bit hot in there, and I think that had something to do with the, the uh, good shooting uh, because the guys really got warmed up. But uh, they also want to get the free uh, yogurt when we, when we knock down seven uh, threes in a game. So we've done that a couple times in the first half. The Lions hit eight of 17 three-pointers in the game. You're about to see second half highlights. By the way, if you want to come see the Lions play at Flowers Hall, when there's seven plus three-pointers made, it's buy one, get one free at Frostbite. They're the sponsor of our player of the game, which is coming up. Uh, let's go ahead and get to those second half highlights. North Alabama versus the Bulldogs of Union University. We lead by 10 at intermission. Here's the second half highlights. So in the first offensive possession, we send them to the line. They get two free throws. Here's UNA's first offensive trip. Now working towards the bucket to our left here. Not yet a minute in the second half. KJ kicks it out. KJ for three. Contested. Money. Sam Buxton, you called it. Watch West Long. He got his second tray of the game right there. Keenan over to Rashawn Claiborne up to Markwell. Darrington over to KJ off the left wing. Bullock there defensively. 23 on the shot clock. KJ takes it, finds a crease, and he'll put it in for two. KJ can do that every time he needs to. Pearson around the screen, created by Freeman, and a turnover. Down to DeAndre, jam time. Slam dunk by the senior. Wes tips it over to KJ, a turnover in the backcourt. Back to Wes, pulling the trigger. Three-pointer! That's Markwell, runner, block, put back, finish. DeAndre off the right side, using the window for two. It's kind of lopsided in the first half. 10 to five. Now it's 10 to seven. UNA has not committed a turnover in the first four minutes of the second half. Claiborne with his foot inside the arc, strokes it in. Long range two-pointer will take it. Here's the inbound play. Rashawn up to Pritchard. And there it is. Working off a screen. Nathan oh. won't take it. Over to Yeti. He's wide open. Defender falls. Yeti attacks. He smells the blood. And he goes for the throat. All the way to the hole. He'll bank it in for a 17-point lead. Runner, no good. Good from the defense by West Long. They get an offensive rebound. The put back with 11 on the shot clock is good for two. They push it. Nathan. Three-pointer. Count it. For the Number Australian. Spear with the three. How about that? Nathan Spear puts it right back in off the glass. UNA's lead is 16. Rashawn Claiborne from the perimeter up to Nathan, kicks it out. Pritchard wide open. Pritchard adds to the three point barrage. Popular in game promotion. Why not? Almost a steal. Rashawn knocks it away. Corian Pearson collects it, feeds it out in the corner. They put up a tray. This one, no good. They're not falling for the Bulldogs. They get an offensive rebound. The handoff, waiting. Fowler off the glass. Ribs out! And a miss. West Long there for the rebound. Richard collects the strip, puts it in. Great concentration. Bullock blocked it. And Pritchard just took it out of the air, banked it in from five feet away. Not Corey Ricks played in the first half and now back in for West Long. 12 16 remaining. The Lion lead is 20. UNA up 55 35. Keenan to Markwell, down to DeAndre. Working on the block, left side. Quick spin move. Now on the baseline, negotiates back, leans in, banks it in for two. That's senior versus freshman. And the senior out of reform, winning that victory and getting a two point bucket. A.J. Roberts lost his dribble out to Bullock from the corner. Here's a three. No good. Actually, a miss by Corian Pearson. Down court pass. UNA's rebound. They take it down to Rashawn Claiborne. It beats Freeman down court and lay it in for two. 
They've got numbers, four on three, trailing. They kick it right back out to a wide open three look. This one off the iron, no good. Kicks, knocked down. They deal down to Corey Ricks. Corey will put it in for two. That one off the iron, and Corey Ricks pulls a rebound right there. Corey Ricks, three points. Here's the back shot, right side. Good. Keenan. KJ through the backcourt press. No look pass over to Corey. Corey's going to take it to the hole. Take it off the glass. Count it for Ricks. Hopefully we'll take the next shot inside eight minutes to go. 22 on the shot clock. Ricks right side on the far wing. Spear up to Lazar. Mounts pass into the paint. Wes high hook off the paint. Off the glass rather from the paint. What great touch by Wes. Bullock 12 points. Great dribble drive off the inbound and Corey Ricks puts in for two more. He's got seven. Down low, turnover, DeAndre Hersey got a paw on it. They're trying to get it into the paint to Lysi. And a turnover, UNA has the basketball with 442 remaining. UNA up 71-48. We're looking for Claiborne in the post now. Uh, Sean Claiborne takes it all the way to the hole. Misses in the putback finish. DeAndre Hersey. Roberts lost it into the paint. Ducking under, and this one off the glass. Freeman. He's got 17. Tyler Pritchard looked over for Ricks. He'll keep it himself. Up to Yeti. Right back to Tyler off the handoff. Pritchard. Out the corner. Here's a three. Good. Contested. Almost a four point play as Ricks falls as he shoots. Here's the inbound. Union in the front court. Handoff. Bullet. Left wing. Spins around Fleischman. Over to Faller. He'll put up a contested three. No good. Yeti off the rebound. No look over to Corey Ricks. 13 seconds. Alley oop. Fleischman! And he slams it in. Corey Ricks says, Give me some love. The assist for number two. Fleischman with a two point bucket. He's got four. DeAndre Hersey, 18. West Long with 11. They put up a three of the buzzer. It's no good. 80 to 63. The Lions led by 10 at the half, and we end up winning this one. 80 to 63, going to 11 and 2, 4 and 1 in the GSC. These days, there's still a need for genuine personal relationships, especially when it comes to your pharmacy. Sheffield, Leeton, and Russell pharmacies are still locally owned and independent, the way you like it. From the time you walk through the front door, you just feel that family atmosphere. Plus, they provide fast, easy, and extra friendly service every time. Rodney Logan and his staff have everything you need when you need it, and they also specialize in topical compounding medication, mixed on site. Sheffield, Leeton, and Russell Pharmacies. Great customer service at all three locations. is the most interesting man in the shoals. He is an artist, a writer, a philosopher, a historian, musician, astronomer, wine connoisseur, environmentalist, peace prize recipient. When he speaks, people hang on each and every word, especially the verbs. His personality is so magnetic that he cannot carry credit cards. It is said that once he taught a German shepherd how to bark in Spanish and taught a horse to read his email. Someone recently asked him what he did for fun, and here is what he said. I don't eat out every day, but when I do, I eat at City Hardware because to me, it's the most interesting restaurant in the shows.
Right now at Ray Miller Buick GMC, 2012 Acadia, 0% for 72 months. 2012 Yukon SLT, 0% for 72 months or save $6,500. Get 0% for 60 months on select Sierra Extended Cabs. 2012 Buick LaCrosse, 0% for 60 months or save $6,000. Need a low payment? Verano, only $1.99 a month. See salesperson for details. 48 years of satisfied customers. Ray Miller Buick GMC, Cox Creek Parkway, Florence. Welcome back to Inside UNA Basketball. The show continuing here. It's the Lions Lair segment. You get to meet one of the UNA Lions. Today it's Corey Ricks, the redshirt freshman from not far from here at all. Corey Ricks, she played at Florence High School. Talk about coming here right out of high school. Uh, a lot of guys like to go off for college, but you get to play pretty close to home. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's pretty pretty special being able to play close to home. My family and friends have a lot of support. They come support me at the games. Let's talk numbers. How many did folks do show up for a typical home game? I see a lot of them behind us. About anywhere from 30 to 40 on the average night. That's great. That's good news. Corey Ricks, a redshirt freshman. Before we get back into the basketball part of things, let's talk about academics in the school. You, you like accounting. That's your major right now. What brought you into accounting? Has it been a math thing? It's been a math thing ever since I was little. Like I've always liked to count. I just love numbers. And I figured I could make some money one day being an accountant. An accountant. That's, that's what my wife does. She may try to talk you out of it. But <laughs> from Florence High School, I'm talking just a, a couple of miles from the campus here. Uh, Corey Ricks playing his college basketball not far from home at all. Uh, you room with Beaumont Beasley. That's got to be some good conversation there. One of the greats here, a great point guard for the UNA Lions. What has that meant for you to be able to room with a guy like that and learn some great lessons? I mean, he's been a great leadership. I mean, he, he tells me everything. He kind of takes me under his wing. I mean, sometimes we have, like, intense arguments and stuff, but it's just all good fun. I can imagine arguing with Beaumont. He's a guy that can <laughs> really uh, let you know where he stands. But uh, Beaumont's a great guy and, and really came on as a great senior leader for us. And here you are, a true freshman and a guy that's also done well in the classroom. Let's talk about your role on the basketball court. Uh, you've come off the bench many times, sometimes averaging about a point a minute, sometimes uh, six to ten points over the course of five to six minutes. Uh, you've gotten some quality minutes, though, in games. Yes, sir. I just like to come in and try to contribute right away. I try to make my presence felt on the court as soon as I come in, whether it's scoring, rebounding, you know, passing, defending. Corey Ricks, our guest on the Lions Lair segment, brought to you by CBNS Bank. Good luck the rest of the season, Corey, and thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me, sir. We'll come right back. Inside UNA Basketball continues after this timeout. When I go to see my bank, they know me by name. I go to a place with banking the way it should be. My bank has convenience and great service. I love that it's a community bank. My bank says yes to lending. Our bank is CB and S Bank. <clears throat> it's banking the way it should be. Hey, Rick and Tony Valentino here, urging you to come to Flowers Hall this year and support Bobby Champagne and the UNA Lions basketball team in their quest for a Division II National Championship. Catch all the action and the excitement. Hey, UNA basketball, that's what I'm talking about. Whether it's purple and gold or any other color, Simpsons Body Shop now has three locations to help you get that damaged car repaired, painted, and back on the road. They're located at Cox Boulevard in Sheffield and Highway 72 in Killen and Broadway Street in Florence. Choose one and rest assured that you've chosen the right professionals for the job. Three generations, three brothers, three locations since 1981. Simpsons is there for you 24 hours a day. For towing and repair, Simpsons gets it right the first time. The reputation of Simpsons Collision and Repair speaks for itself. Those Simpson boys say go. Lions. Daddy, can I get a puppy, please? Okay, Sam. It's bedtime. Oh, ten more minutes, please. Ten more. Yes. Please. Hey, Daddy. Will you buy some alcohol for my party tonight? We'll be right here at the house. You can even take the keys. Please? Absolutely not. Each time I turn around. Never let me have anything. Don't be a pushover. I hate you. Be a parent. Prevent. Don't provide alcohol to minors. Welcome back to Inside UNA Basketball. The victory by 17 over Union University. Coach, a great win. It's at home. 
but it's a conference win as well. Yeah, it was a big, uh, big win for us. Uh, moves us to four and one in the conference. Keeps us in pace with uh, the league leaders. Um, and so it was really good to get back, uh, put two wins together with the Delta State road win and then, then the home win in front of a, a great crowd at Flowers Hall. We take considerably less shots than Union, but we shoot, uh, what, 48%, make the most of that. And I know you preach it all the time, every offensive possession is precious, and these guys really seem to treasure the basketball when they have it. We did a really good job of taking care of the basketball and getting good shots and getting the shots we wanted. And uh, I thought a lot of that frustrated Union. Um, our defensive intensity was definitely causing some problems for them too, but that carried over to the offensive end where we were able to execute our offense and get good shots. So. Uh, great win for us and kept us kept us in in the hunt for the uh, league. The, lead. Yeah, the final margin of victory, 17. We win it 80 to 63. Gets us to 11 and two, seven and one at home at that point. The only. Uh, Hiccup there has been a loss to Tennessee Temple before the Christmas break. Turning our attention now, we're going to take on Shorter. We got the UAH game looming. Let's talk about, though, a key player here. It's our Frostbite Montague's player of the game, DeAndre Hersey. 18 points, eight rebounds, five of those eight rebounds coming on the offensive glass. Yeah, DeAndre's really come on for us. Uh, had some some great games early in the in the year where the second half he dominated in the post and he was he was very good against Union. He's a guy that has already got his degree from South Alabama and he's he's uh, he's here taking some education classes and, and trying to get a better better feel for basketball, getting some playing time. He's really been a, a nice addition to our team. DeAndre Hersey, our player of the game because of the 18 points, eight rebounds. But if you want to look at other statistics in this game, the win over Union, the guy gets two blocks and three steals. He hustles. He does. He does get after it a little bit. And uh, he was a tremendous shot blocker in high school and asked him to do a little bit more of that for us this year. Um, you know, that day, uh, earlier in the day, we had the champagne brunch and uh, DeAndre was one of, the, one of the players that the ladies really liked uh, talking to and getting to know. Let's talk now about the conference race. At the time this show airs, uh, we've got UAH out there, a team that uh, is what they usually are. They've had some injuries, they fought back from it. They go up to Union and they fight back and they get a victory there on the road as well at a very tough place to play in Jackson. Jamie Smith on the day, he plays 28 minutes and uh, comes out with 19 points. Yeah, UAH has been playing good. They've been in the top 10 all, all season and uh, you know it's going to be a, a really tough game for us at, at UAH. It's UAH, us and Christian Brothers that are, that are right there at the top. Valdosta struggled a little bit, but I, there's a lot of basketball left to play. There's 11, 11 or 13 conference games left to play at this point, so it'll, it'll be a tough uh, race. Ronnie Mack is one of those guys who was a freshman of the year last year in the Gulf South Conference. He had 11 points in their win over Union. Let's go back to our personnel now. We've talked about DeAndre Hersey. You hear a lot of names, uh, folks like Rashawn Claiborne, Markwell Darrington, Yeti Vichetsi's come off the bench, another guy a reserve. Let's talk about Corey Ricks. You call him the microwave. He averages about a point a minute and had 10 points in the win over Union. Yeah, Corey has done a great job coming off the bench, providing some energy. He's a guy that lowers his head, gets to the basket. He, uh, he's fearless. He's going. He's going to get something's going to happen when Corey's got the ball in his hands, and he's been he's been doing a really good job of providing that spark off the bench. Well, the Lions win it and get to 11 and two on the year. We win it 80 to 63 over Union. Before we let you go on Inside UNA Basketball, I know you want to dole out a big thank you here. You're in your tenth year. And for 10 years, we've done Champagne Brunch. You had a record crowd, a big fundraiser for UNA basketball. Yeah, it's a 10th year in uh, ladies and, and men this year. We had parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles attend. It was a, it was a great crowd and uh, we, had, uh, we had a good time enjoying uh, getting to know the players on our team. I notice you talk about they're bringing their spouses. Now we're seeing families come. Some moms even brought their daughters. Mm -hmm. This may be a generational thing. Yeah, I, I think I think the kids enjoy uh, getting to know the players. They want to get their autograph. They want to know something about them. Um, find out about Summertown, Tennessee, or Split Croatia, and so uh, they they enjoy getting to know those players and, and seeing them other than just on the basketball court. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode. The Lions win it over Union University for Coach Bobby Champagne. I'm J.D. Byers. We'll see you next time. Uh, on this uh, same program on Inside UNA Basketball. Thank you for watching Inside UNA Basketball. Please join us again next Sunday at 1130.